Hello everyone, my name is Nalanda Roy and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Political Science and International Studies at Georgia Southern University. I'm also the coordinator of the Asian Studies Program and the former Inclusive Excellence Faculty Fellow at Georgia Southern University with the Office of the Provost. Today, I'm going to deliver a lightning talk and the title of my presentation is Integrating Research into Coursework, Creating opportunities for student success. Uh, before I begin, a brief summary of my presentation today is how no cost and open education resources allow students to accomplish their goals without facing added financial burden and hardships. This is a collaborative project where I received support from the Georgia Southern University Liaison Librarian, the open or the Open Education Resource Librarian and the Center for Teaching Excellence. We are working on an open level campus collaboration to embrace Georgia Southern University's core values of collaboration, academic excellence, integrity, openness, inclusion, and sustainability. Now, before I begin, I would like to share a little bit of background uh, uh, in uh, uh, a, a few years back, actually, I came across an article inside Higher Ed, and the title was uh, Textbook Spending Continues Slow Decline. So I started thinking, you know, why is this happening or what can be done to resolve the issues? And also, uh, while talking to several of my colleagues, I was able to find out that uh, you know, many students are not purchasing textbooks and that is having an impact on their grades or retention, you know, leading to a retention problem, graduation problems, etc. So the survey, you know, the, pointed out that the amount of students, the amount, you know, students are spending on course materials each year is decreasing. As a result, many students uh, are not purchasing textbooks for their classes. And this is having an impact on their grades and class performance. Besides, if the course materials are costly, there is an undue burden on the students who are already struggling with the heavy cost of, cost of higher education. So eliminating the cost to the student makes it easier for them to meet the requirements necessary for graduation. Even if students rent books, the cost is significant. If the student is struggling to afford school, this puts a further financial burden on them. And other students either spend time finding a less expensive version or an older version of the book that is missing relevant materials and even lacking in current information. So the transformation of the course that I'm working on, which is Political Science 4031, Human Rights in Asia, will allow the creation of timely, interesting and relevant materials, as well as interactive exercises. An important part of the transformation is the development of a process and procedure to ensure that materials are able to be updated each semester. So the Human Rights in Asia course, it is offered by the Department of Political Science, International Studies and the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences at Georgia Southern University. And I initiated the course a few years back and I started teaching the course as a special topics course, but now the course is offered as a part of the Asian Studies minor program. It is an upper level course for students who are planning to complete a minor in Asian studies. And uh, as well as for political science majors across the three campuses. So each year, uh, Georgia Southern students are graduating with a minor in Asian studies uh, based on the course rotation. And this course is either offered in the fall or the spring in all three modalities, face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and 100% online. So since the founding of the Asian Studies minor program, Georgia Southern has witnessed an increased demand for the minor and interest to learn more about Asia. And recently, this course is also being added as a, a part of the newly developed global, global security studies concentration program. And over the course of time, the minor is becoming interdisciplinary in nature, including courses offered by the other departments like history, economics, English, gender, women's studies. And also it serves a diverse population of students, including first generation, non-traditional, BIPOC, LGBTQIA, as well as military students. 
And the number of students taking this course has increased significantly. And the common textbook used for the class is very costly for students. And the price uh, places a significant burden on them who are already struggling to pay other college costs. So what did I do? So I decided to take on, and as a PI, I applied for the University System of Georgia, USG Affordable, Lear Affordable Learning Georgia grant, transformation grant to eliminate this cost of our students. So today my talk, uh, integrating research into coursework, creating opportunities for student success, it focus on how to reduce financial burdens and establish an inclusive opportunity for students following the mission and vision of Georgia Southern University. Utilizing no cost and open education resources allows students to accomplish their goals without added financial burden and hardships. And this project is also providing students enrolled in the course uh, with an opportunity to be successful while eliminating the cost of course materials. And the incorporation of no cost and OER resources, which is accessible through the library guide, all students are granted access or you know, given the opportunity to be adequately prepared at the onset of the semester to successfully complete the course and graduate. My objective is to advance an equitable, diverse and inclusive college community in support of educating our diverse student body for global citizenship. Providing access to no cost and OER materials will allow us to support these aspects even more and provide materials students can relate to on a much more personal level. So as a part of the USG ALG transformation grant, you know, I had three goals. First, eliminate the financial textbook burden for students and establish an inclusive opportunity for them, regardless of their ability to purchase a textbook. Number two, develop a library guide with no cost OER materials, which align with the course curriculum to reflect current events in Asian countries, as well as expand the coverage in the course to better reflect the importance of the issue of human rights in Asia, which the current uh, textbook does not do. And finally, partner with the university liaison and the OER librarian to curate the library guide and locate no cost OER resources and ensure appropriate curriculum alignment with student learning objectives in the course. And I'm happy to uh, report that in terms of student impact, you know, this course fills an important niche. There is no commercial textbook which is, you know, capable of adequately covering the current topics and the evolving human rights issues in, in Asian countries. Besides, as soon as the textbooks are published, they become outdated. So utilizing this library guide is allowing me as well as other instructors who would love to teach this course in the future to curate the materials uh, to align with what is happening in the world. This also enables students to learn most recent information and participate in appropriate research and scholarship in the subject area. And since the course reaches across many disciplines, the impact is greater than just the Asian studies minor. Additionally, students do not have a financial burden of paying a high, you know, paying for a high cost textbook that becomes outdated so quickly. In terms of the department and college impact, we plan to promote the use of this no cost material library guide in the department, as well as share this with other departments. And uh, more broadly, we are planning to share our experiences and findings at regional or national conferences and through information sessions with faculty within the department, as well as across the campuses and across uh, other colleges. Uh, materials developing this project are publicly accessible on a library guide for anyone to customize. And our hope is to encourage other faculty members to use any materials from the course to adopt to their own needs and begin using no cost and OER resources for their students. Well, in terms of the university impact, it is, it is really very impressive because the inclusive and inexpensive access to the course materials for all the students are increasing student success at the university level. And it's also helping in retention, graduation, and progression. 
it is also helping faculties who wants to focus more on instruction and provide an inclusive teaching and learning environment for students. And it is also providing free access to all the faculties and students who want to, you know, know more about the, uh, the usefulness of open educational resources and how to access the library guide or how to create the library guide and made it available to the university community. Well, uh, to conclude, uh, the impact of this project, you know, collectively, so to speak, at all levels proves beneficial. It promotes diversity, equity, and inclusive excellence, which are strategic pillars and core values at uh, both uh, the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences, as well as my department, as well as Georgia Southern University. I hope you have enjoyed my presentation today. Please reach out to me if you have further questions at uh, nroy at georgiasouthern.edu. Thank you so much for your time and patience. Have a wonderful day.